Okay, sniper dude. Chat. What the fuck? Uh, thank you. Are you? Shit, that's too bad. Need a hand? Tell you what. I'll call for help by sending up a flare. Okay? Just just hang on there, buddy. Help's on the way. Sending up a flare now. <laughs> Sorry. My aim just isn't what it used to be. <laughs> Uh, okay, so he's got a bullet box. Let's go grab it. Where'd he go? Oops, swap on shit. Rocket launcher. Get um. <laughs> yeah, it's great to be able to steer those rockets after you launch them, but. It's not so great to get your ass burned when you do it. Oh shit, I didn't get him. Fuck. Hurry up, hurry up. Faster, faster. <laughs> Ouch. That's gotta hurt. Oh, I'm out of rockets. And I wonder what kind of guard post this is. In here? Oh shit, I could have used a bottle of water. Okay, uh, hey Billy Go dude, what kind of guard pose is this? You know? In here? Ooh, explosive power guard pose, just what I need. Alright, cool, sweet. <laughs> Okay, we're good. Now, you know what? There is a golden AK-47 over there. Let's go get it. And what is a golden AK-47? Well, if you don't know Far Cry 2 that well, what happens is all the weapons in this game eventually break down with usage. Okay? As you use the weapons, they, um, they start to jam up on you and they'll eventually actually blow apart in your hands. But the golden AK-47 lasts a lot longer than the normal AK-47s. They're like special, um, they're special. <laughs> and uh, there's eight of them in the game. Eight secret golden AK-47s to be found throughout the game. Four in Act 1 and four in Act 2. And here's one of them. Not sure where I am on the map, right there. That's one of the golden AK-47s. So let's just swap this out for our regular AK-47. And now we have a golden AK-47. Sweet. So, that's that. Now, onward. By the way, once again, if you ever run your boat aground, just go to the front of the boat and you can actually push back into the water. Like that interact with it and you can push it back in the water. Next on the agenda we're going to go into the rail zing area and pick up two diamonds. One right in the rail zing area and one right at the end of the river. Right, so that's the plan. I think I'm going to bail out right about here. I don't want to get too close. I can get a little closer. <laughs> Pretty smooth, eh? <laughs> Slack is styling. Hang on, that's a version of the sip of coffee.
All right, let's do it. Let's get in there and get in there and do some killing. Here, bad guy, bad guy, bad guy. Here we go. Let's huck in a grenade. I get you. Got you. Where are your friends? Got you too. That's it. Okay, while you guys are making up your mind uh, where I am and what to do about me, <laughs> I'm going to go get some diamonds. <laughs> so there's the uh, the bridge that we blew up earlier in, uh, I think it's the third UFLL mission. Me and Hakeem blew up that bridge. Pretty cool, eh? This is one of my favorite areas in Act 2. So, let's go. Uh, we're going to need a boat to get these diamonds. I'll show you why in a second. The boat over here. See anything. Oh, got some hostiles over here. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> I thought I saw a booty tag. <laughs> over here, buddy. No, over here. You're about as dumb as a bag of hammers now, aren't you? Fuck. See how close I can get to this guy. Shit. Wakey, wakey, guys. <laughs> You guys have got to be a little quicker on the draw than that. Seriously, man. What do you got? 249 saw? What do you got? Oh, paratrooper. Alright, that's nice. So. Got a signal, as you can see. guys over there. Okay, now these diamonds are right up there on this ledge here. And I think you're supposed to do some kind of Super Mario thing from there and jump over there and whatever, I don't know, but I have never been able to figure that out, how to do it. So, um, I usually just drive the boat right over there and then use the boat. <laughs> just drive the boat right over here. In this little crook right here. Pack it right there around to the front of the boat, jump up here, and then you can just jump up there like that. That's how I get him. <laughs> and go along here like this. It's only one diamond, too. That's how I get him. I, like I said, I think what you're supposed to do is like go from there and jump there, and I don't know. Like I said, I've never been able to figure it out. So that's the way I get those diamonds. Alright, so finally, there are some diamonds all the way at the end of the river. I want that map. I don't want that map. I want this map. Yeah, all the way at the end of the river. And we can only take the boat so far, because uh, we done blowed up the bridge. So there's all this debris to deal with now. Can't get the boat past all that debris. So we're going to have to hoof it. And swim. <laughs> At least I don't think you can get the boat past there. No, it doesn't look like it. And follow the clay pot trail. <laughs> this is pretty neat. See all these clay pots on the way. Not the clay pot. You just run over them, they break. Another clay pot. I think this is pretty cool. <laughs> All the way down to the end of the river there.
<laughs> and here are the waterfalls. Show me around there, right there. Okay, we got a signal. Pan around. Diamonds are dead ahead that way. Let's go get them. <laughs> 